Hi again. In um, 1939, when he was just a boy, Jerry Parr went to see a movie called Code of the Secret Service, which starred a young Ronald Reagan as a Secret Service agent. And this movie had a big influence on Jerry, and he decided he wanted to join the Secret Service and become an agent. That's the motivating factor in his career. In 1981, Jerry Parr saved President Reagan's life. He was the uh, agent in charge of the uh, pres presidential protection detail um, for President Reagan. And on the at attack, assassination attempt outside the uh, Washington Hilton, um, his fast reactions uh, in the face of the gunshots in uh, driving the president into the limo uh, and piling in on top of him. And then uh, the shift leader, Ray Shaddock, closing the door and the car zooming away. Uh, it, was, it was the start of the process where they saved the president's life. And, and this book, uh, a very interesting book, is probably the most detailed um, analysis of the assassination attempt on President Reagan that's been done. And it's from a unique uh, viewer as well. It's completely first hand. So um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. So um, they're in the vehicle, the, the, the limo codenamed Stagecoach. By the way, the, the media always call the presidential limo the beast for some reason. It's not called that like within the Secret Service. So um, zooming away and he notices the president's rather out of breath. So he, he does um, a rapid assessment, running his hands over him. Uh, the scalp and so on, and finds blood, and uh, it, it's lung blood, and uh, so he, the car, the limb was headed to the White House, and he diverted it to um, George Washington Hospital, and that decision, without a doubt, saved the president's life, because they got him into surgery uh, fast enough for the surgeons to do do their job. Any delay would have been fatal. The, then the task was to organise the protection of the president in this ad hoc scenario in the hospital. And they, they started setting up um, perimeters and uh, IDing people and, and you know, there was a whole operation involved in that. And, and Jerry Parr had to actually put on surgical scrubs and he was inside the operating theatre um, observing the um, procedures um, because they won't leave the president unguarded with strangers around him. So that was um, really interesting and a, and a, a fantastic um, link between a young boy seeing a movie and uh, becoming a presidential bodyguard. Um, he stayed with the president for a, another year uh, at his request um, for because obviously the president had fantastic confidence in him and for uh, continuity and then he was promoted to assistant director in charge of protective research the um, division which um, looks at threats um, and has guys out on the ground interviewing um, various people and making assessments of them as to their mental state and so on and the amounts of threat they might pose to a president particularly if he's visiting a particular area um one of the um I hit, <coughs> the book obviously goes over his entire career in the secret service uh, he protected uh, vice president agnew president carter and people like this um it's it's interesting to note that the most of the things the Secret Service, uh, the procedures they instituted were as the result of failure. Um, for example, they, they set up a fantastic counter sniper uh, capability, but that was only in response to uh, the assassination of President Kennedy. <clears throat> and following um, the attack on President uh, Reagan, 
they instituted the idea of having a hospital agent. So someone, an, an agent detailed to be at the designated hospital or hospital, hospitals if it's a large area, um, ready to receive um, the, the uh, motorcade in case of an attack. So that was one thing, and that that's been upgraded a lot since. And the medical side, and they they have um, virtually a, a, an operating room traveling in the motorcade now, and and um, that kind of thing. So the, the ideal in protection is to anticipate threats and to prepare and plan for them. <clears throat> the, the, there was another book on the Secret Service written by uh, an agent who for a long time had predicted the attack outside the Hilton and had um, suggested procedures to, um, uh, to defeat it and um, he'd been ignored. And after the attack, um, they went to him and pleaded with him to keep quiet about the whole thing. And in, in more recent years, or almost straight after, they, they changed the procedures at the Hilton because the president visits there quite a lot. And they have a, a whole covered area there to receive the motorcade. So it's out of sight. And the other thing was check. Uh, the, the reason that Hinckley was able to get to where he did and open fire was there was no real uh, vetting of the press. It was an informal press area and he'd been able to infiltrate them. And they sorted that out later. So um, I, an, another thing um, that uh, they did with President Reagan when when, he, when they first uh, started protecting him, and he was out, he lived in California, and um, they they were quite uh, rural roads, and they started thinking about the uh, possibilities of a vehicle ambush, and they started training in vehicle ambush drills. Now this is in in seventy nine eighty. It's rather late to be for an organisation to be thinking of vehicle ambush at that late stage and training for it. And Gary Wistrand, who was a supervisor on the uh, Reagan detail, um, was a co instructor on one of our courses, and he, he <clears throat> I, I was taking the guys through uh, vehicle ambush, and he said to me, he said, yeah, he said we. He, he told me what I've just said. He said, we started doing this with President Reagan. He said, but that's the first time I've ever seen it done live fire. Um, he said, we, we, we just um, walked through it with blanks. He, he said, I've never seen it done like that before for real. And we've been doing it for quite a while in, in on the courses. So um, the book, uh, as I said, it's a unique insight, well worth reading. Uh, Jerry Park came, comes over as a total professional um and obviously he's one of the guys who is rather a legend in the secret service because he actually did um save the life of the principal 